Well, I mean, my I enjoyed this conversation. I actually I actually knew that this was going to be a real time conversation, so I just wrote down bullet points. I because yeah. I knew I knew you could carry a conversation, so I wasn't too concerned about where it goes. Uh, Kyrie Irving, man, Kyrie Irving's making big news today. I mean, sh- I mean, since the NBA lockout, when he said we should have our own league, uh, take us from that train of thought, having our own league to media upon, and then we'll get into Shannon Sharp if you want. Uh, and so you may have to catch me up a okay. little bit. Okay, give me some more details because I I do know about his comments at the media or ponds. Mm-hmm. And uh, I get where he's coming from. I think there's some truth in that. Mm-hmm. And that Kyrie is um, – Ty- Kyrie thinks a lot. Sure. And I think some of his conversation is ahead of people's ability to understand. Mm. And, uh, you know, that there there's – People aren't prepared. He's giving it more thought than most of the people are that are hearing his comments. And so when he says the media are pawns, some people aren't ready to hear that. Well, hold on a minute, you know. But you saying I'm talking about fake news or <laughs> what 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 are you saying? And basically he's saying the media is bought and paid for. And that 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 I, I would say it a different way, and and you know, it, it's Anybody that's heard me talk, I've been on this topic for years. The media is dishonest because most of the media is completely concerned with, well, what, how, how is what I'm going to say going to be interpreted over social media? Sure. And so they cater their comments to, to make sure that social media approves. Right. And I I think a lot of celebrities are into that. Uh, Certainly the media is into that and that makes them pawns. And so I I agree with what Kyrie is saying. I think Kyrie's thoughts about owning our own leagues as athletes. He's 100 percent right in terms of uh, if if there's an industry that's reliant on your talents and abilities, you probably should seek some ownership in that. You should seek more control in that. And if we've created this great resource that generates billions of dollars, um, trust me, um, we should own that. There, there, let's say, <laughs> let's say if everybody. Uh, that had an ownership stake in the PGA was black, but 99% of the players were white. Uh, do you think Jim Furyk and uh, Brooks Kepka and Phil Mickelson and them <laughs> look around and be like, well, damn, man, we should own the PGA tour. <laughs> you know, we provide all to every other group would think that way. And, um, uh, but you know we're not really programmed to think that way. We don't have. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna say the 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 right word, but it's like my boy Curtis Schoon always says, so, and I'm not sure if it's. But w- do we have an ownership mentality? The do, do we want the responsibility of ownership and rulership? Uh, and and sometimes you have to. You, you got to question that. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I think if we had an ownership mentality years ago, maybe we would have probably been far more reluctant to integrate baseball. Uh, we would have been seeking to merge the Negro Leagues with Major League Baseball rather than just hand over our talent. Right. to major league baseball but um that 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 hasn't been our mentality and so i i think kyrie Irving. i i'm not gonna blast the brother and say he's an idiot like a, a lot of people are the guy clearly likes to think and and 
He probably engages with people in, in pretty deep discussions. Got, yeah, I think Kyrie has a pretty good relationship with his dad. Yes. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, Kyrie probably, and again, that's not, I, I don't know all the details on everything Kyrie said, but it, he just comes across to me like someone that uh, who's thinking is a little bit further ahead than most people's ability to understand. And uh, Shannon Sharp basically